McRae. Now Pendlebury. Here's Dugowie. This will be a nice return. Gives it back to Pendlebury. Strolls in from 35. Pies her away. Joel and now Rankin. Oh, oh yes. really well. Oh, yes. Look at him take them all on. He runs by five of them. He keeps going. He tells Dawson what he wants, and then they miss the handball. Maynard, a bit of defending here, Collingwood, the last five or six minutes, holding up well. Something's got to give soon. Crouch into the pocket and fortuitously lands into the arms, the safe arms of Tex Walker. The last time they met, he's got his first today, and the Crows are on the board. Josh Dacos coming off his highest rated game of the season last week against West Coast. Will they turn it over here? And the Crows might make them pay. Rochelle sees the player slipping out the back in Cook. And it was Nick Dacos that polled the three Brownlow votes last year. Pendlebury out of the stoppage for goal number two. Rankin lurking at this stoppage. There's Jones. Here's Murphy, who gets to his favoured left, can have a crack for goal! Clever finish! And then Curvis had a slight fumble and probably not the give to go to the Ruckman, who goes and turns it over. Pendlebury again, another touch of pass this time to Dugowie. He's missed the last two weeks, Dugowie. This will test out the groins. There's no problem with him anymore! He's got his first. Cameron tried to shovel it out there. Is Sullivan. He's able to get another inside 50 entry for the Magpies. Hill almost hit that at full speed. Hamill was right there. It's been a good matchup. It falls to Richards, who was excellent on debut. Gets the quick start in the second turn. To Josh Dacos holding his width on that wing. Great Noble work. ran on hard from half back. Smith came forward to apply some sort of pressure in the extravagant dive from Schultz. He plays 100th next week against his former side in Perth. How good will that be? And he curls that back left to right. Faded it beautifully. Might eventually get to him. It does. Schultz drills it along the ground. And he meant the first one. He didn't quite get the bounce the second time around. But McInnes might mop it up anyway. And now Reef gets in on the party. And it's raining goals for the Pies at the MCG. They had numbers through the corridor. Crouch to Hamill. Rochelle has to sit under it. Murphy's going to stay down at ground level like a good small. Can he straighten? Instead, he gives to Fogarty. Can they make it work? They do. And Adelaide now start to get some reward for effort. Two on the trot. Himmelberg offers a lead. Rochelle. Proactive, Joey. More proactive inside their forward half. Sun's going to be in the eyes, but Rochelle oh, yeah. in the box seat takes the mark. Walker this time has to go, and he did, and they got them queuing up in the corridor. Just has to pick the right option, Tex. He sees the longest and the best option in Murphy. Just has to be clean, has the support anyway, and they get the goal coast to coast. It's Scholl. He's dropped another one. He's let a couple slip. So here's the McInnes injury. He doesn't look great still out there, to be perfectly honest. So, uh, And Joey Reef McGuinness is now out of the game. They uh, have assessed him, and he's out through concussion, which will pose the question about why he didn't come off a little bit earlier. But Sullivan heard the voice of Dugowie. Sharp handle into Noble. This will be fitting in game 100. Launches from 47. Well done, Johnny Noble. And they come to celebrate. He's got options inside 50. Just needs to think his way through it. In the end, he goes towards Fogarty in the pocket. Who had the height advantage on Quainor. Good kick to advantage. And this kick for the modern-day player. A much higher percentage than it used to be. He screw it back enough. He's got two. And we're going goal for goal in the third turn. Pops it into the pocket. Dugowie just reefs it away. I'm going to give him a high fend-off. Play on. Spin. Finish from Crisp. Tony Roden likes it. Do they need him up the field or do they need him for this kick inside 50? 
It's Dawson, though, that's resting forward. He'll generate something, puts it into the path of Rochelle. If it sits, he should waltz in, and they get the first goal they needed in the fourth quarter. And he got back on it. Tex doesn't want to go for home. He gives it to Hinge, who's got the leg. He's got the accuracy, and they're back within a kick. Rankin goes. Oh, the no. <laughs> That's what the superstar can do. He is a match winner. And the Crows are in front since the first time in the first quarter. Time slowly ticking away for them. Keys, he's kick smothered. It might work for Harrison, who's clean. And they're off and running here. Go. Crisp, this is the moment. He takes a bounce. Dawson giving great oh. chase. He's got Nick Dacos in support. It's the right man you want. And he goes to the other man you want, Dugowie. Dugowie to put the boys back in front. <laughs> you just knew they would. Of course it was Rankin. Can he create something even more special than his final goal? They need a mark inside 50 or crumb. The ball goes up. Quainor, there's a whistle. There's been a whistle. Oh, and it's going to go. Oh, oh. He's called him for running too far with the he's ball. He's called him for running too far, oh, guys. Oh. It's going to be the fifth time in the last six meetings that it has been decided by five points or less. It is deja vu at the MCG. We have seen this story before. Hopefully it's just cramped for Rankin. He played one of the great games. But the Magpies, they do it again.